Well, howdy there, partner. Five, four, three, two, one. Just gonna click. <laughs> howdy there, partner. Howdy there, gray rat. Oh, hello, you're back. Um, yeah. you can keep them as. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Basically, we're going into an area right now that is like no fire zone. Basically, oh here we go. Oh here we go, dude. I'm definitely gonna do the flamberge. Okay, flamberge, flam, flamberge. But yes, uh, we have to go into an area where uh, fire is basically like the main element in the area. So like, literally everything uses. Um, uh, like literally everything uses fucking, um, okay, I guess we'll just do a, a raw gem on it. I wish I had a deep gem, that's kind of what I wanted to use. Or a dark, I wanted to use dark, but I guess we'll just do raw. It's gonna suck ass, but like, like <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do um so we won't be able to like well actually wait maybe maybe I don't have to use the flamberge maybe I can use uh maybe I can use you it's an ice weapon I guess let me see oh here's Henri that's why we didn't find her what the hell oh my god <laughs> We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irisil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. So basically, she's going to go to Irithil, so that's where we'll see her. But obviously, you have to go through the Catacombs of Carthus to get there, and like we didn't find her there. And I was like, where the hell is she? Why can't I find her? <laughs> Aldrich's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep. And then you got Horus. Always one for a nice conversation. But, um... Oh yeah, I was gonna go talk to the, the dude. So, like, okay, what the hell? I'm so dumb. <laughs> Everyone was... Anyone who... Anyone who's watching this video is probably just like... Or the last video is probably just like, dude. She's at the Firelink Shrine. I'm pretty sure I can still go talk to her, though. So it should be fine. I think the storyline isn't ruined. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit, boy. Hell yeah, dude. We just got we just got the freaking boulder heave. But I could have used this, but you know, I need every single one of those, so I'll keep that in this ring we can. We'll just use this sword. I just like the thing is, this next area, it's just all fire. So like our claymore isn't gonna do anything. Like our our claymore will literally just not do anything. It'll be it'll be annoying as fuck. And I have a feeling that the ice weapon might do you good. I know you use Twinkling Titanite to upgrade it, but the thing is, I don't actually care at all about Twinkling Titanite because I don't really normally use weapons that take it because. You can only get them to plus five. And then they're not as good. Like, they're good in the early game, they're just not very good. Like, I don't really like them for PvP and stuff. Ah, 
Jeez, what an eight. I have no clue how, how many how many souls I need. <laughs> there we go. Plus three. That'll be Probably good. Alright, now I guess we gotta go back through... Also, am I using the dragon? Yeah, okay. Because the crest shield does dark. But the dragon shield, the dragon crest shield does fire. God damn it. I'm a fool. I'm gonna have to fast forward this now. Today is actually May 7th? Sunday. Uh, May 7th, yeah. So, like, yeah, if you want some reference for when, like, when and what I recorded right now, um, the last episode I recorded in, like, February, I think? And then, the, like, the last thing I recorded was the Kingdom Hearts, which I uploaded episode one of. So, I only did one, I only did one or two sessions of that, like, right away. Like, I did one session, and then, okay, we're, we got Henri, but I'm not going to forget my train of thought. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap, and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Yes, I see you. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now with this twist of his old. And if you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prison stones to guide him, as always. Please send him my word, I beg of you. May the flames guide your way. So, yeah. Sorry, Henri. No, uh, no Horus in sight. Uh, but yes, I recorded one session of that. And then another session the next day. And that was, uh, that was a week and a half ago. So, like... See these stupid skeletons? I'll run right past them, because I don't give a goddamn fuck. Also, I don't give a goddamn fuck that I have my window open, either. And if you can hear birds chirping in the background, or a chainsaw, <laughs> or airplanes flying across the sky, then I don't even care, because you better be, you better be listening. Ah, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? Oh yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horus. Now, I had to mute my mic because I actually realized I should probably mute it while there's dialogue going on if there's chainsaws and shit going on in the background. But, uh, yeah. So basically, she's like, Oh my, Horus. Oh no, Horus. Where could you ever be? And we're just like, Sorry, B. We don't know. Um, I think you go, I think you kill him. As far as I know, I'm just going to rest of this bonfire. We're not going this way. We're going. We're going very special. We're going somewhere very special. And now we're switching to this because it's this fire zone that we're entering right now. But we need to go through this area because, like, there's a bunch of pyromancy stuff here. 
if you're like if your character is a pyromancer or even a, or even like a miracle user which I'm like a faith build or something you um you you should definitely go through this area but it's an optional area um that's the ladder you knock the bridge down and then it makes a ladder but you have to like wait a while for it to show up and you have to walk up right to the edge. So you see this guy, he's pretty scary. But like, you just run past him and then run down here and then wake up all the skeletons. Just wake up the skeletons, okay? Just trust me. Just wake all of them up, all the skeletons, and then get them, all, get them all riled up, you know? Get them all riled up. See what this bitch is doing? They're, they're gonna start fighting him soon. And then we can come in here and and also start fighting him. He's he's killing all the he's killing all the skeletons. Oh yeah, see they do a decent amount of damage on him. See? This skeleton, he's a gladiator, and he just took a hit. But like you kinda have to like lure him into like fighting him because like They'll fight you, you know, because you're, like, obviously the one they want to fight, but, like... They all respawn fairly good, so... Yeah, I figured something like that would happen. <laughs> I got stuck on this freaking thing. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so you can also just jump. And like, when I first played through the game, I thought you had to jump, I, d I couldn't figure out how to get the ladder to go. Like, I, I pretty much just thought you had to jump. And so like, the only way you can do it is by like, wearing the cat ring and like, taking off all your armor. Because I think your armor makes you, makes you take more fall damage, like your weight ratio makes you take more fall damage. Or something. We got that large Titan, sure. Holy boy, that was close. See, he's just annihilating the skeletons. Like, he just, like, it's literally just a way to distract him. But, like, they can attack him, but you shouldn't let them fight him. Like, you need to fight him. Like, or else they're not, like, unless they all gang up on him like this. <laughs> I was literally sitting there like, oh, they're not gonna fight him. They're gonna, they're gonna sit there and chill. You need to fight him. You need to be, like, the master of your own destiny. And then, like, they just all start, like, fucking, like, wailing on him. <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever gotten on video, dude. Literally amazing. Max, like... <laughs> Max, if you watch this, please, God, just fight him yourself, please, just do it. <laughs> Don't let the skeletons fight him. Okay, how many times am I gonna have to kill these guys? Come on. Okay, like I said, you can tell when you you can tell when you kill them, and you get the souls from them. I needed that soul of a demon, so I, like, had to kill that guy, but, yeah. You don't actually have to kill him, he just gives you the soul of a demon. Which, we actually just got a really good ring. Um, we also got something very good. Which is this. Uh, demons were born of the chaos flame, but the flame has not survived, and the demons are a dying race. <laughs> so, like, yeah. That dude we just killed. A dying race. Oh, we got a dank ass ring. Something to replace this with. The Witch of Izalith and her daughters, scorched by the flame of chaos, taught humans the art of pyromancy. Excuse me, and offered this ring. Every pyromancer is familiar with the parable that tells the witches espousing the need to fear the flame and teaching the art of pyromancy to men in hopes they might learn to control it. I think in the lore, um, pyromancy is, like, originally just normal, like, sorceries, but then, like, when, like, 
When like the then when like the Witch of Isleth like tried to like duplicate the first flame or whatever, that like is what caused the uh, the creation of like chaos, and like that's the that's the origin of pyromancy. That's like what separates it from uh, from what you call it. Okay, so here we are in this bitch. Uh, in this bitch, there's a big ballista. See, butching, it just fucking explodes. If you walk out there, if you walk out there, you will get hit by the ballista. Like you can see, you can see the arrows flying towards me. You can see the ballista right there in the middle. Right away for the dust to so settle. You can see it. That's where it goes. So there's a pause, and we're gonna we're gonna like try and try and dodge, but like it's really hard. It's like really fucking hard to dodge. Oh, there is one thing we need to collect that's like over here, and you need the ballista to do it. I think it's that. I think it's that door. See that? See that? See those bricks over there? All these other items we'll be able to get later. But like, there's crabs over there too. So like, you know, be careful. You're trying to run from the ballista. There's crabs too. Whew, that was close. See that door? See that? Uh, not door. It's a fucking brick. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. We made it. Well, kind of. See that? Speckled stone plate ring. So basically, slightly ups magic lightning and fire damage absorption. So you can see, we're up. This one gives a bunch more fire though, so I'm probably gonna wear this for now. This area. This, this boss is like a pain in the ass, dude. Like, this boss is a motherfucker pain in the ass. Dude. And this motherfucker is also a pain in the ass. This fucking shitty ass looking bitch. It's a motherfucking pain in the ass, dude. All those items out there we'll be able to get. Don't worry about it. They're all basically large titanite shards. There's a few ones that are like, it's just embers and stuff. The only thing that we need to get with the ballista is the fucking... That ring that I just got. Everything else, everything else, you can get later on in the area with no ballista trouble at all. I'm gonna see if I can kill this guy with... Fireballs. He's dead. He's done, dude. Oh, fuck yeah, bitch. Oh, yes. If you noticed, we also got the undead bone shard ash. Whatever the fuck it's called. So, like, now you know. No way I'm gonna die after all that. We got what he, we got what he dropped. <laughs> um, so if you want that, you're gonna have to come here. You're gonna have to fucking come here and get it. You're gonna have to fucking kill that dude the same way I did. You stand up here and you shoot him. That's all. That's the only way to do it. You stand up here and you shoot him. If you fight him down there, it's fucking annoying. It's annoying as fuck. If you fight him, shoot him up here. Hella easy. 
hella easy. Okay, this is this compromises fire damage absorption, right? Oh no. Oh no, just normal. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna keep it on then. I don't care. Alright, so here we are, and this is actually like the brunt of the area now. We got past that stupid lake part. Now we're in the real deal. So you gotta be careful. This shit's annoying as fuck. This area sucks. This guy, this guy's just a this guy's just a damn fool with a bunch of health. This guy is an SOB. Okay, my dad just got home from Home Depot. You can see that was my frostbite doing damage to him. That's why I wanted this, because like frostbite will do extra damage and it'll, it'll gank. But yes, my my sister just my dad is my sister just got home from fucking Home Depot. I hope they don't come in my room. What's poppin' me? Oh, this guy poisons you. A lot of people poison you here. It's the same as the fucking dudes from from the other area. Stupid area. These guys are super annoying. They give you toxic. Which is like hell. And there's like ten of them. Which I forgot about, to be completely honest. Oh my god! Oh my god, like, look at all that purple, purple spit. You a bitch! Man, I was hoping I could aggro one. Not two, not two, not two, not two, not two, not two. Not two. Dude! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, damn it. I want all the I want all the space I can get and just What keeps healing him? Is he getting healing at all? Is he getting healed at all? Am I just an idiot? I think I'm just an idiot. Definitely was not getting healed. What's popping, bitch? You're just gonna stand there. You can go down there. If you go right there, if you go in there, and then like to the left, I think there's a bonfire. Or maybe. <laughs> maybe it's over there. I don't know. I guess let's, let's try it. Let's see if there's a bonfire. Because I'd rather just get the bonfire first, then I know exactly where to go. No, 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 this is, no. No, 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 no. This is not the way. Fucking damn, dude. I'm pretty sure this is the way. But this guy is a son of a bitch. This guy is a big bitch. Oh my god, this guy is annoying. Don't let this guy get up in your grill. Or else he'll... Oh, well, I guess he has no health. Never mind. But don't let him do it. Don't... <laughs> don't let him get up in your grill. This is also a dude you don't want to let get up in your grill. It's this guy. He's just kind of a bitch. He's just... He's just kind of a bitch, to be completely honest. He is a big bitch. 
Yeah, see? Somebody's shitting on Sword and Board yesterday, and I was trying to tell them, dude. Like, Sword and Board is like, you can be good at dodging, but like, you're only so good, you know? Sword and Board is like, you can always go back to it, you can always resort to it. You know what I mean? It's like, sure, you can be that dude who's like, look at how skilled I am, and then you can just die. <laughs> or you can use a Sword and Board and be good. These guys also have very high fire defense, so like, just, you know, keep that in mind. Like, if you're fighting them, if you're fighting them, you don't want to use them. These guys have very high fire defense. I did not mean to do that. Fuck. I meant to do that. Yeah, boy. Oh my god, and we got the Black Knight armor, and we got the Black Knight sword. And we got Titanite shard. So this area, all it has is an, in it is the Black Knight Sword. Um, you can kill the Black Knight. He doesn't always give you the Black Knight armor. He uh, sometimes he just uh, sometimes he just gives you like a like a shard, like a Black Knight shard. <laughs> No, like a Titanite shard or like a Titanite chunk. Sometimes he gives you a Titanite chunk. Some, sometimes, sometimes he just gives you nothing. And, you, and you, sometimes you get nothing, and sometimes you get nothing, and you're gonna like it. So now we're gonna go this way, which is the way I normally go. It's annoying as fuck. Every way is annoying as fuck, though. So like, yeah. Dude, don't let him yet. Don't let him actually do that to you because, oh, don't let him do this to you either. Because, like, you'll die, or if you don't die, they go red berserk mode and then, like, start sucking you off. Great. <laughs> Remember when I said they would suck you off? Well, yeah. Fuck those guys. I died, like, 80 billion times in this video. Very well, then take. Boom, bitch. Now we got 20 vigor. Now we're just going to go for 10 on that. Or in that area. So I got to figure out how to, like, aggro this dude. Huh. Yeah, don't let him get you with that fucking grab, dude. Do not. Or else he'll go in a berserk mode. That that move is also annoying as fuck. Both of those moves are just like annoying as fuck. So you do, the the jump move will just fucking do a shitload of damage to you, and the and the grab move buffs him like permanently. So like oh, I'm out of juice. No. Ugh, great. Oh. Well, I guess it is okay. Nice. See that ooze ball? There's also one dragon butt over here. I think this is like the only one in the area or something really weird. Like, but you can see these ooze balls are actually annoying because it's made of lava, so like it doesn't take fire damage. And it can do that shit. So like you can see now, like in the last episode, you watch me fucking up those ooze balls, you probably like, dude, those ooze balls ain't shit. Like, why are they even in the game? This is why they're in the game. I'm pretty sure they do, they take blunt damage. Because, like, I'm doing slash and pierce. Or, yeah, sure, pierce. And then, uh... There's that, there's that. You can jump down. If you want. I mean, if, you, if you're really into that, you can do it. But, 
but like it's you know scary if you do. Remember where I went before? Where the Black Knight is? That's like where that is. When you drop down. And you drop down here. That's where the Black Knight is. And then you go in here. This is where you can fall down. Remember these guys? Because I sure as hell do. They have no health. So it's actually fine to kill them. They're actually not that bad. But yes, if you fall down the hole, this is what you're in for. Um, a couple, uh, a couple of Chungus and, and a Bungus. <laughs> Where are you, Bungus? Where are you, Chungus? But it's not that bad if you fall down here. But I already killed the two Bungus, so like... You know, there's two of those, like, dudes who are on all fours. Um, the hole you fall down is, like, right here. It's, like, right somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere around here. <laughs> oh, lordy. Wait, maybe it's in this room that you fall down in. But yeah, you see we got another one of these boys. One of these fuckers. You're just gonna eat a boulder. Go eat a boulder, ugly. Then this guy. This is another fire spitter. Poison hell. Wait, do I still have the poison bite ring on? Do, oh, do, damn. So that's the way we just came in, right? That way leads to a bonfire. This way leads to a bonfire. So we're going to go this way first. Just light the body before this guy comes in here. Your miserable life. If you light the bonfire, you still respawn at it. If you're wondering, that's how you beat the game without us uh, resting at a bonfire. You can light the bonfire once, and then you'll, it'll be your it'll be your reload spot. <laughs> that noise. And he'll keep doing it until like until he gets it off. So like yeah. Okay, so that guy's there, and then you can go this way. This way is very good. This way is very, very nice. I'm scared, dude! I'm scared! And it's very nice because you get that! Woo! But we can't use it yet. Because we need that profane flame. I think. Pretty sure we need profane flame. But the chaos gem is like our main shit. That's like, you know, if you if you if you infuse with chaos, it gives you uh gives you scaling in both. Yeah, so if you're wondering. This is a motherfucking trap. It's a good thing these guys ain't shit.
Can't, 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 can't really let this guy fool you. Whoa, that did a bunch of damage to you. I think like the boulder shells like fell on him. And last and not least, this bit. Fuck you. I'm digging this whole boulder heave thing. I'm digging it a lot. See, this is what we wanted. This is what we fucking wanted, dude. This is like when you get that good shit, dude. You know what I'm talking about. And now we got the bonfire. So we can keep going. So this way, um... This way... This way we came from... I think this way just leads to the same... Oh, it's another Bungus! Jesus, dude, it's not necessary. And we're getting tons of large Titanite shards. At this point, this is when you start collecting them more and more easily. Um, yeah, if you're wondering, I think this is the other side of the room. Yeah. So, like, you know, if you want to just walk this way and into this place that's absolutely not a trap, then, like, you're good. But if you come around this way... That guy will come in and run at you, and, like, if you run down there. But, like, if you come around, then you're good. So, see, we did it. We did the whole thing. Now we can rest the bonfire. Because we don't need to go that way, and we don't need to go that way. We don't need to go either of those ways. We only need to go... I think this is an illusory wall. Yeah. I'm gonna go that way. So you go that way. Um, you can go that way. Or you can jump down here. Which, that's that area, which is like, you can see this is where, or over there is where you walk across. Down there. And this is the other side of the room, down there. So if you go that way, it'll lead you to your destination. At the end of the area, at least. But for now, we got that Isolith Pyromancy Tome. So we're gonna go cash that bitch in! So we have the Karthus one and the uh, Grave Warden one. Don't give them those. Don't give them those. Or actually, wait, yeah, you can... I think you can give them the Karthus one. Oh, I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> yeah, you can't give him the grave, but he won't I'm take it. I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself. Let alone teach it to you. This is a spell forbidden in the great swamp. And nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Ah, what have we here? A pyromancy tome from Isolith. Then you found the home of pyromancy. Brilliant! I will never curse being old and undead again. Now, now, show it here, quickly. Let us channel them together. The primal pyromancy is known only to old Master Salaman. So he just said a lot of shit right there. He just said a lot of shit. Um, he said, um... He said, then you found Isolith, as in, we're, like, that's the area we're in right now, is, is, is Lost Isolith. Um, what it used to be. So, what, what that unlocked for us, uh, we did, this was the, uh, this was the one that we, first the Karthus one, and then these, the Chaos Storm and the Chaos, Great Chaos Fireball, those ones are, like, what we got from the Isolith tome. 
So we're gonna be able to use we're gonna use this, I think, but like not for a we're not gonna be able to use it for a while. And these I'm not gonna care about. Karthus Beacon is not like it's pretty much only good with fast weapons. This shit sucks ass. Acid Surge sucks ass. And Karthus Flame Arc, as far as I know, it's weaker than um it's weaker than every other weapon buff. So it's like, yeah. Heed my words, unkindled one. Fear the fire. The home of pyromancy, Isolith, was scorched by the very fire it created. Undoubtedly, it was a flame of chaos, tangled by a witch's hand. But who's to say that this bonfire's flame is any different? Heed my fear, the hunger. So, yeah, um, he just said some stuff to us. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade you, Bi. I like using you. Do not pick what?